Hey everyone, this is it. This is very exciting moment for me. Uh, we are going to be playing finally Resident Evil 3 the remake. And this is likely the most minimalistic title screen that I've ever seen. We don't even see the freaking title. Uh, I'm assuming the main menu will be different once we actually start the game. So this is actually the first time I fire up this game. And hello everyone to my channel this is a belated welcome from the one who eats lemons yours truly uh i've played resident evil one the rem the remaster of the remake from 2011 on this channel uh at least the one half of the game as jill valentine just for some backstory for this game which is going to star jill valentine once again also i've played more recently resident evil 2 remake uh with the with this scenario choice of Claire A and Leon B. That was the most recent playthrough on this channel. So you're very welcome to check those out. And finally, with so much preparation, with so much anticipation, we're finally arrived at the newest product so far in the Resident Evil franchise. Uh, so just a little background of me on the Resident Evil franchise. I've obviously played the two games on my channel uh, in the distant past I've also played Resident Evil 4 5 and 6 as well as Revelations 1 and 2 but those were like I said the distant past not uh, I, I have very hazy memories of them Resident Evil 7 on the other hand I remember very clearly and very fondly uh, my favorite in the whole franchise so far is probably Resi 2 Remake. But the truth is I haven't had a lot of interaction with Resident Evil games as a kid. So I'm not all that familiar with the original ones. I've played, I've dabbled into them to various degrees. And the Resi 3 is by far the one game in the main series. In a number of series I should say, just to make it clear. That I have like very little interaction and the memory of so I really don't know much about this game I know it starts Jill Valentine in Raccoon City I know Nemesis is the big bad classic iconic villain of the franchise I mean everyone knows that everyone who don't even know Resident Evil probably knows Nemesis and I know there's a character called Carlos that's about it so this is going to be a completely blind playthrough as you can see, I haven't even started the game yet. It might not even work for me. It might just glitch the whole thing out, and that would be a huge bummer. But anyway, let's get into it. Oh, I assisted mode. I mean, the game frequently asked me to switch to assisted mode when I was playing as playing a Resi 2. This would be a good opportunity as any to uh to to to, to remind you of what kind of a, game, a playthrough this is likely going to be. It's completely blind. I'm not all that good with it. Uh, if you will see my playthrough from of, in Res, of Resi 1 and 2, you'll probably find several places to get pretty frustrated at. And yeah, I'm not really all that good at shooting zombies. I'm not all that good at puzzle solving. But you know what? We are going to tough this one out. Supposedly, this is supposed to be harder than the... Uh, both of the previous games, so... Ugh. Well, it, Resident Evil games are not cut out to be easy. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious yet. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern... Wow, CGI has really improved. This looks like the real thing. Commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. Yeah, Umbrella's gonna save us all. You heard of that, guys? There's nothing to worry about. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Oh, 
I think that's Nami. What have you done? Um, I'm in control. This is trippy. What the heck? I was not aware that this game is gonna have first-person sequences. Um, hi. I guess I'm Jill. I just woke up in this messy apartment. I mean, it's not. It's not messy. What was I talking about? This is actually very well organized. But it's a simple apartment. It's. I guess this is still 1998, so you don't, you can't expect TV to be better than that. So actually, things are pretty good. We got uh, her, her, pol uh, all the evidences of her as a police for a member of the force. More importantly, a stars member. That's going to get repeated a few times in this game. Is that a TV? Oh, no, that's a radio. Wow, it's just taking all the details. This is pretty cool. She got some... Uh, what are these supposed to be really? Posters that came from magazines, I think. Do we have any messages? I don't, I don't think so. What is this supposed to be? Uh, I think it's a hum... It's a humidier. I, I, I can never really correctly pronounce all those kind of things. Uh, the time is... Let's see... It's, it's uh, sometime like eight, 7 past 8. And it's pouring outside. We can do something about that. We don't want water in our apartment. That's... It's probably what woke us up, right? I don't think I can jump, run, or crouch, or any of that stuff. Uh, the Well, we don't have an exact date, but I guess it's September. Jail is reading... Uh, this is titled Home, so I don't know what that is. Is it, is it a diary? We got some news clippings. The Daily Raccoon. That's cool. Raccoon City... Uh, is is the raccoon? Is this the emblem of the city? Like it's a. I don't know what. Paul Mark is that supposed to be? But you know what? They should be uh, advertising their herbs. Unnerving combat. The the book that she may or may not be reading. This is a thing from the Raccoon Police Department. We got plants here. I'm surprised that Jill still has the taste for raising plants. Okay, she's piecing together a whole bunch of clues to uncover the plot uh, yeah, that's happening in Raccoon City, obviously. Umbrella, question mark. Well, you can strike that question mark. It's gotta be. And, and I think that's Annette Birkin from Resi 2. I wish I could read some of these things. This is really well done. And it's it's even quivering when the fan is turning this way. That's awesome. I, I you gotta treasure these little moments when you're just starting up the game. Because you might be too busy doing uh, other things in the in in the later games where you are surrounded by enemies and monsters. So this is really I, I suspect this is going to be a very rare moment of peace. Read, read the newspaper? No. Oh, just a piece of toast. 
and maybe some coffee. Well, uh, Jill is not really caring all that much about her personal comfort. I see. I don't think it's necessarily because she's poor or anything. I mean, she can be. She's whoa. Don't leave that running. I think she's just occupied with work. Oh no. Oh, it's a nightmare. Don't worry, Joe. You still look pretty cool. Okay, that was a nightmare, and things are a little different now. It's not What's raining anymore. Oh, everything is going on. What's not going on? So let's take a look at. We can interact with more stuff now. So many pills. Yeah, are we, are, should you be on all of these at once? But really, we got. Apparently, she's sleeping with the evidence, and. Uh, other messy underwear and all that stuff just uh, at the at the end of her bed like that's totally relatable all this stuff is still here messages come on Chris give me a call I saved your ass from the dungeon that you could have got out by yourself but so for some reason you chose not to I'm still not quite understanding what happened there so we got an exact day this time it's uh, I think that means it's September 28th and she's planning to escape from Raccoon City on the 30th. Like she's gonna give it to the end of the month. It says worst month of my life. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. What are you even, what are you even staying for? I guess her plan has to be, um, she has set in, set in motion a little earlier than she expected. It's not gonna be her call anymore. I actually can read these now. Fuck yeah, Jill's report. September 26th, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from the affected individual, allowing the mixing of blood bodily fluids. Contact with crows which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. Oh, if T-Virus is airborne, that's pretty bad. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed the symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. That's why she has the nightmares, because she literally don't, don't know if she's gonna wake up a zombie. Holy shit. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I, couldn't, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. And that's why she's keeping herself here in the center of the storm. Wow, Jill. Girl. She's afraid that she's infected. She's a carrier of the virus. So she's going to confine herself here. And self-quarantine. That's so relatable during the COVID-19 thing. And yeah, I think this... Wow, I, I, I'm i literally wordless. Like, in... We, we only started the game, what, 10 minutes ago? And I think Jill has is already more fully realized the character than the entire first game would let me to believe. This is actually what I was looking forward to the most uh, when I was playing Re Resi 1. Investigation notes. 
Umbrella, pharmaceuticals company industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining covers of pharmaceutical company, also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arkley Mountains Research Facility predi- predicated the mansion incident. Conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Okay, that's pretty bad. Uh, we have a thing here. Message from a colleague to Jill Valentine. Hey, hot shot. How are you holding up? I still can't believe Irons suspended you. It's such bullshit. Really, Irons? Well, it's a good thing he didn't exactly land a happy ending. He ought to pin a matter on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers, Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. Brad. Brad was the the pilot who left us there. In the, so so well, he's. Moment of, I don't even know if we should call it moment of cowardice. I think I should go back to review the footage just to determine whether it was completely necessary for him to take off at the moment. But anyway, he's going to be forever branded as the pilot who took off while his teammates need him the most. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra, enjoy the extra large mega meat supreme. It's on me and the guys. Oh, it's right here. Ah, uh, can, I, can I take a piece? Yes, nobody's doing the dishes. And we haven't dumped the garbage for a while, I see. I just think, I think her apartment is a little better organized when she's dreaming. Just saying. <laughs> But hey, this is a better refrigerator than in Resident Evil 7. If you've played Resident Evil 7, you know what I'm talking about. We got snacks and what is what is that? Donuts or I, I can't really tell. We got a whole lot of milk. And basically, we got a lot to drink, but not a lot to eat. That's a little concerning. Why do we have a pizza poster on the wall? I mean, I love my pizza, but I'm not gonna hang it on the wall. But but that's just me. This is completely personal taste thingy. Unsealed envelope. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons' men? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance. And it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed, or whatever it, it is, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. Having closed my files, they'll tell you everything you need to know. As long as this package isn't intercepted, I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. Damn, Jill is like fully preparing for her to for herself to die at this point. This is so messed up. And yes, they are going to send someone to silence you, Jill. It's just a little tougher than you'd probably expect. Okay, let's not do that again. By the way, Jill looks great. I didn't have time to compliment her during the last time. I, wow, it's running again? This is not looking good. Hey, girl. No, you're not turning to a zombie. <sighs> Legit, I'm just really happy to, to, to play as Jill again. Who could that be? Oh, it's definitely not gonna be good news. Oh, I'm switching to a third person view now. I just noticed. All right, I'm coming. Huh. 
Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Holy shit. Nemesis? Already? Wait, is that even... I ain't gonna do shit. What the hell is that? What thing? the hell? <laughs> yeah, I was good. I know what the hell that is, but I really thought we we're gonna we we're not gonna see him until at least two hours into the game. What? gonna get through that <laughs> oh my god the shit just hit a fan it like it hit the fan so fast it's there's no time to even react to it no way. oh yeah everything is everything is awful everything is gone to shit he's not coming yet so I'm just gonna stay here and observe a little bit oh my god He's still not through. I don't think. Okay, that's that's quite enough. Man, this is will be like if we're playing Resident Evil 2, but Mr. X is in the gas station store waiting for Leon or Claire. Yeah, we can dodge. Close up shout out to her bomb. I think that's obligatory. <laughs> so we really got no time to check for ammo and okay. or anything. Dude, you just threw me to the fire. That's uncool. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ha, can I sprint? Oh no, you can't. I don't think she can sprint at this moment. I'm like legit shocked right now. I, 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 I really didn't expect this. I know, but right now it's got a hard on to the only two stars left in town. You and me. Where are the I'm others? Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. God, this all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. I am a spin. Where's that hell? Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! Oh, I can run now. Great. So, what is the timeline, I wonder? Well, these things kind of spread fast. I wonder what is the timeline uh, in the whole thing? What is res- Oh, no. This game is giving me no time to talk over it. I have like so many questions. That's not gonna do anything. The 
it's a little hard not to think about it. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Things are happening so fast. We already met. Uh, Sorry. Okay. You know what? Brooklyn City has enough cops to spare. With all the dead cops we saw in. I'm just. I don't think I need to kill him. Like, I know how to fire now. That's enough for now. Um. Well, shit, it's like no. Uh, I can't take them all down. Like, oh, I can get through this part. I'm gonna try to conserve ammo. But you will probably have to go. Where do I go? Where do I go? This is where I go. Talking to me? Okay. So yeah, things are happening too fast for me to talk about it. I just have uh just gonna take this moment. I have a lot of questions. Like is, has Resident Evil 2 already happened at this point? I'm assuming it is because Leon and Claire didn't exactly arrive in a city in complete chaos, so this is after that. But that doesn't isn't wouldn't Claire wouldn't Jill be actually aware that the whole police station is decimated. She has no colleagues left alive or anything. And why? Where are the other stars members anyway? Where? Where's Chris? Barry? Well, we know Wesker is not gonna be in town. Sir, are you alright? Uh, stay back! Don't come any closer! Hey, come on! There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can. The only safe place is in here. Uh. Seriously? Can I come here with you then? I'm just gonna Sir, wait wait the whole name? thing out. I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just wanna steal my safe house. You got your own, Missy. You got enough room for See? two? So space button is like her dodge button I like that I like that I have a dodge option that's going to be really useful um um shit I hope I live to. Let me check the maybe the map system. Is there such a thing? Uh, I don't know. Is there a map button that the game is not telling me about? I am using the. I'm using the keyboard and mouse to. Come on, give me a break. Oh, key binding. Uh, reload, dodge, switch ammo. We can switch ammo. Interact. Move left, run, quick turn. I have a quick turn. Open map is M, and it's not working right now, so I'm assuming I don't have a map yet. How do you not have a map of the city? Inventory screen. Okay, so the thing I'm... Yes, this is quick turn. I'm, I need to remember that. Hey, sir, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna invite myself in if you don't mind. I re I didn't bring my ticket. It's in my wallet and I don't have my wallet. You know what? Fuck it. Just I'll, I'll take the next one. Really, I don't mind. Um... I don't know if that was smart or not. 
But if they are bullet sponges like in Resi 2. I'm just gonna make a little prediction that we're not getting on that helicopter. Time's a charm. It's my turn, bitch. <laughs> oh, holy shit. This is crazy. This whole scenario is crazy. What have I walked into? There he is. He's on fire. Hey, fuck this. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? Carlos. I'm saving you. Come on. Let's get you someplace safe. That was wild. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. Safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Okay. Uh, we We're got some go post alien movie hey, posters. What do you know about that That's so xenomorphy. Grab something to eat. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it, but it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service, UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? We're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. <laughs> Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. Okay. You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on. It's this way. This relationship is doomed. They're talking politics from the start. Oh, we're taking the train really fast. Things are happening so fast. Things are happening so fast that the plot we've covered in this since the game started is enough to fill a, a whole entire traditional Resident Evil game. And there's some other bastard over there. He looks bitten.
Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Okay. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. I thought you were, I thought he was gonna give me the badass rifle in his eye. Yeah. That was so misleading. Hey guys. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I miss. Oh he really was bitten. That's a health spray, right? It should restore you to full health. I've been there. You might wanna find some uh green and red herbs, mix them together and just eat it. I, I don't know exactly how they eat it. I don't know if they shoot it up their arms or their nose. I, I, I don't know. So, I think we should be going this way. We have another thing to read. UBCS Ammo Crafting Guide. Uh, on the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Uh, handgun ammo is two normal gunpowder. Shotgun is gunpowder plus high-grade gunpowder. Mag ammo is high-grade gunpowder uh, times two. Once you're stocked up, get out of there and uh, join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. Yeah, I need to remember this, but this is kind of... Easy enough, and I, I, I honestly never did manage to remember everything when I was playing Resi 2, and hey, that turned out alright. So, as alright as it was. That could have turned out better, but that turned out alright. A cool city, electrical substation. Maybe we should take this map, you know? Do we have a map yet? I do have a map. Map screen is useful for more than just your current location and surroundings. It can also show you any points of interest and items you have found but haven't picked up. That's awesome. What about my... Now Now we are actually starting the Resident Evil process. What about inventory? I have 8 slots and I have already filled uh, with 2 of them. So knife is currently my number 4. Oh yeah. Jill looks pretty sharp. I mean, her injury seems to have miraculously healed. Tabloid front page. The cannibal murders a complete digest. Oh, a complete digest. I get it. In the grave of the morning of September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as dis disheveled, disheveled, oh, I don't know, like a vagrant was attacking a parasite by north of the Lambs Museum of Art. 
Uh, the responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some d dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on men's steak? We here at the News Comet have an annoying feeling that a so-called cannibal disease patients. Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for us since August by not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. I want to keep reading, actually. Why just stop there, Jill? This is a very relatable news. Also, not written with the utmost Jill, sincerity. It's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Green herb. Another green herb. Yes, I knew. I know I can combine them. Come on. Not my first rodeo. Gunpowder. And another gunpowder. This game is determined for me to learn how to combine stuff here. I'm gonna uh, equip the knife for now. Um, I need something to open this case. Hey! Oh, I probably should have left saved the one green for the red, but you know what? That's that's all good. What do we have here? UBCS herb field menu. There's no place in the UBCS for pig squeaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo, go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own mats, so get these recipes memorized. High potency mixture, that means uh, two green herbs. Maximum potency is green herb plus red herb or three green herbs. First aid spray. Can't make these yourself. Grab them if you see them. That should do it. Now let's get this done and then go grab a beer. Now these are all old knowledge, old news. But you know, it's fun to see them presented in a new way. What is this? Commemorating the guard opening, the grand opening of the Kite Bros Railway? It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Hmm, the right wheel? I think that's what you should do. So, are these showing up in my map? Yes, they are. Two mysteries. This one seems to require a key, which I don't have. Um, I got nothing right now, so I'm just gonna carry all of them. And... The first to save, this, the first of many to come, I'm sure. Okay, let's thoroughly explore things. Now, things are finally slowing down a little bit. <laughs> the, that opening sequence was really awesome, but they can't stay that adrenalized all the time. Dude, don't touch my stuff. Train moving. Sidestep. Oh, hey. Nice dodging mechanic. I'm gonna try it on you. Whoa! Okay, that was a failed attempt. But it's a learning process. I'm gonna run through the whole place just to see if there's anything I can take. No, then I'm on my way. Is that a woman or a cat? Oh boy. Okay. There's no dodging this one. And that's a cop. They really have an unlimited amount of cops, zombie cops in this city. With all the ones that Leon, Claire already dealt with at the PlayStation, we still have this many uh, all around the city. Ok, 
Okay. Just checking if I left anything. It's always... A always love Resident Evil's maps. So helpful. Uh, the supermarket is closed for the day. Those guys are gonna break in any minute. Hey, Raccoon. Oh, no, not Mr. Raccoon again. I really need a key. Did I just miss something? Should I have a key now? Because I feel like I should have a key now. Uh, let's check this out. No, there's nothing we didn't take, so I'm assuming we just have to move forward in order to get the key. Do I really need to... No, I don't need to go here. Thankfully, this is the door that I need to go to. And it requires a cutter. Really? Like, there's... Oh, I'm already stuck. That's not a good thing. Maybe there's something in the box. Gunpowder. That's nice. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Oh, so they're gonna open this door for me. Gotta put this out. I don't know. Use the gunpowder. So I, I am seriously... Oh, that's a red barrel. Red barrel is a good news in a game like this. I just noticed that you are getting awfully close to the barrel. Oh, shit! I think I should have tapped the mouse button. But hey, come this way. Well, thanks for opening the door for me. Um, hey, come on, get me. I'm this way. I'm over here. Oopsie, I'm actually over here. They are standing up now. Oh, yeah. Successful dodge. Got a gunpowder, which I'm going to be mixing it. Not sure if they can, you know, break through that. So I've got a respectable amount of handgun ammo right now. Can I, we need. We gotta shut down the music. I mean, I'm liking the tunes, but seriously, we're in the donut shop. It's not the worst place to die in. Oh my god, there are so many locks. Maybe we can break them with a the knife? No, that's not what it's used for. Hello, kitchen. Kitchen is a safe spot. Um, yeah, I think we have enough, we're going to have enough greens in the, so I'm just going to have two herbs right now. It's a fancy box, but I'm glad I have a fancy box. Yes, I know how to examine items. It's not my first rodeo. Open it. 
a red jewel. The imitation ruby looks like it's made to be slotted into something, so it's not even a real ruby. Still pretty though, still a bling. Let's uh, use a dual save system just so we can go back anytime we want to. I don't know, the jewel, the red jewel, it's... I haven't really met anything that we might need that, so... Have we? I'm just gonna move on. We gotta... We really gotta come back at some point and uh, deal with all the myths puzzles we left behind. We are leaving behind a trail of mass. Okay. Holy shit! I, I can never react fast enough for that. you do that exactly? Oh god. Okay, she's already dying so I gotta use that. What else do we have in this area? Let's go explore a little bit. So no, fighting all those zombies is definitely not the best choice we have here. Redstone Pharmacy. Well, Pharmacy sounds pretty nice. Hey, what's that guy doing? Uh, just a... Let's empty the cashier. Just in case there's ammo in there. Well, I got a lot of ammo, but I got myself completely trapped in here. Oh, there's a... Whoa! How did I do that? They have their own dodging mechanics. yeah well I don't have any advanced weapon for it so that's not all that useful yet combined with the herbs so a few places we could go we can go upstairs see what's up there Um, I'd rather wait until they are like really close to the red barrel. This place is shut off. Oh! Sh okay. See? That's... that's prepared. That's what prepared looks like. I wonder if this is a... no, this is not a stabbable box. And I don't think this guy is completely out. Drugstore owner's journal. August 24th, this new hair tonic from Umbrella is just flying off the shelves. The stuff they make always works wonders, so it's no surprise. I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment. My instincts are paying off, literally. I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest a good safe, uh, in a good safe and hold all the cash that's rolling in. September 2nd, the new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code, not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aquacure queen. 
and she's never given it up for a thief. She never give it up for a thief. Aqua green. Now what the hell is that supposed to be? You sure I can just uh, randomly crack it? No luck. And some more gunpowder. Well, we can combine it with the tough one, but we don't have any uh, other weapon for it, so that's a no-go. What the hell is Aqua Green? I suppose we'll find out. At least I hope so. God, where the hell am I? Um, I'm back here? Really? Um, no, I think I need to go back for a while. It's gonna take some time for me to completely memorize the entire layout, but I think that's absolutely necessary. So we still got things to explore over here. Well, you're leaving me no choice, dude. I wonder what determines how strong their zombie fight versions are going to be. I was really tapping the mouse. I don't know what I could have done. Okay, I mean there's a facility. I don't know what this is. Oh, uh, we're. This is the subway office. Cool. Oh, brother. Oh shit. Okay, we got fire hose. Really? Connected to a hydrant and you can put out some serious flames. Oh, we can put out the fire now. That's nice. We are finally starting to solve some mystery. Subway employees memo. Uh, violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out to try to find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out the sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Yeah, I would love to. Just I mean, you need to use an item to unlock a door or solve a puzzle. Select the item and then use. Can I use the knife? No, it's like I I got nothing. I can't open this. I would love to have that shotgun. Oh, we got gunpowder. Grenade. We don't have space for grenade now. And this one is again locked. I wonder if I should just shoot it. Because that would certainly work in a real life scenario, but maybe not in the games. Okay, we got some space now. Give me the grenade. And there we have it. Holy shit. I really need to practice the dodge thing. This thing is gonna, it's gonna kill me. 
where the, where else do I go? Oh, the door right behind me. This must be the subway company's offices. Another one that needs a key to open. Kite Bros Railway Manual. Ensuring safe subway operations. In the event of a power outage, the subway will automatically cease operations. Once power has been restored, the police use the control panel to confirm the stations at which the train will stop, as well as which track segments will be used. If the route entered is unsafe, an error will occur and the operations will not resume. So that's two things we need to worry about, but we still gotta restore power first. Donut! Oh my god, like... This, this is an entire package. Like, not a single one of them has been taken yet. I wonder... Okay. So, see, we have a knife here so I can dispose of that without... Without wasting a lot. Without wasting anything, I think. I don't think the knife has a life on it, do I? Does it? I mean... I have four knives, I don't really know what that means. Maybe I could have shove the knife into a zombie who's trying to bite jail but i i still haven't successfully done it okay so that's another area down unless i can go this way no it's blocked now where else can i go Mm, there's still a door over here that we can go to across the donut shop. Oh, by the way, we can also cross the fire now. Now that we have the water hole, so yeah, wait, let's go somewhere. Do something. I gotta open up the map like a thousand times just together. I'm terrible with directions, especially in game. So that this is not gonna be a smooth, smooth ride. Uh, where the hell is everything? Uh, water pipe, go! Oh, that's gonna help a bunch. I still don't have what it takes to get that, but I have a bolt cutter. Nice. Let me see that baby. No, not combine it. Examine it. A tool for cutting chains, cables, and the like. Can it cut through logs? It Is someone in here? I'll come back for it. You know what? If someone is in here, they've been here for a while now, they can take care of themselves. So I'm just go, gonna go out and uh, explore the possibilities brought to me by this cutter. Now, how many things are locked down by this cutter? I remember the toy shop is one of them. So if you excuse me, officer, it's, this is a good night. No, it's a, it's a lock. Oh, and it's a lock. Hey, look at that. Right, another fancy box. And we got a blue jewel. That's, uh... It's a pair with a red one, I think. Do we do I need to find a the head of a tiger and put two eyes in it or something like that again? First aid spray, we don't have space for it. That's um that's that's not good. And I can't really I should have put this in a box. What was I thinking? Oh shit! I'm gonna need that spray if this continues. Uh, 
Um, let's see. Already I'm really re relying on the... I'm re already relying on, on the safe house. This is not a good sign. And we already have four saves, uh, four saves here. And the, the game has just begun. Oh my god, I'm, I'm in so much trouble for this game. Hey there. Not trusting any dead body. Not in this game. Well, that's what the bear is for. Okay. Now this is getting serious. I'm actually getting a shotgun. I can actually go back for the shotgun now. I got the cutter so I can cut the chains. Okay, you keep your distance, sir. Damn, I'm already lost. Where is everything? Things are always easier when you're exploring them for the first time, but when you need to revisit them, it gets a little complicated. That thing is fucking creepy. How is that considered, like... Kid friendly or whoa. Uh, I don't know if I want to disturb them, but I kind of want to check this out. Where does this bring? Oh, it's a shortcut. Holy shit! Oh, that lady looks scary. I don't want them around my shortcut. That's why I'm killing them. Also, they have a uh, gunpowder. Do I have other gunpowder? No, I don't have any gunpowder left. That's unfortunate. Oh, hey, I have an extra slot now. I'm gonna keep it just in case I can actually get a shotgun. And it needs an extra slot. Oh, hey, I almost missed you. A red herb. I don't have any of the, any other herbs. Do you show up on my map? Yes, you do. I'm gonna keep these, leave these here for the moment. Get away from me! I swear if Jill doesn't get a donut at the end of the day. Is this game like sponsored by some donut company? Because it's making me really want to have a donut. And I don't generally want donuts. I mean, I like them and all, but they're not my usual cravings. Is it, is, would it be weird to tell people that, uh, hey, I really feel like eating donut today because I just played this Resident Evil game? I think I'm gonna get judged for that. Hey. I don't know if I can take this. Just combine with the... Ah, damn it.
Okay, the shotgun is here. It's available. I can't have it yet. I still need to work out how to open these locks. But hey, progress. And I'll save the game one more time. Because why not? I like the save uh, saving game music, by the way. I wish they, w I wish the music could be there for the entire time I'm in the safe room, because I always get super relaxed when I hear Resident Evil safe room musics. That has been true for basically every Resident Evil, and I'm gonna be a little bit sad if uh, Resident music here is just a complete silence. Unless you are saving the game, but you don't necessarily save the game all, all that long, so you don't really listen to it. Fight bros. Well, whatever works for you. Give me the goodies. What is going on up there? the zombie movements are still relatively similar to Resident Evil 2 which is a good thing because I've grown to adapt to them a little bit so are there any uh, is there anything I can I can do with the color right now that I haven't done yet Okay, going back to where it all started. Hey, you know what? Maybe these are what the jewels are for? Try it out with the red one. Okay. <laughs> oh, why would anyone put a grenade in here? I don't know, but I don't want to complain about it. Uh, join your brothers. Oh, wait. Give me the blue one, too. So there's a green one out there somewhere. Could that be the aqua green? And what the hell is that? It's an upgrade for the shotgun. Are you kidding me? I haven't even used the bastard yet. It's already upgraded. Oh yeah, that looks really badass.
Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna stop here for now, just for today. Thank you very much for watching. This is at the beginning of a new journey, Resident Evil 3. Oh my god, we're finally here, and the... Wow! So far, the first part of this game is opening with a bang. We are immediately chased all across the city by Nemesis. I really didn't expect him to make such an early entrance, but now things are, have quieted down for a bit, and we are back into... A bit more familiar grounds with all the searching and uh, puzzle solving and uh, I really need to work on the dodge and uh, resisting zombie bites that part is killing me uh, but apart from that I think this has been a really really freaking amazing beginning for what I think is going to be an amazing game thank you for watching I'll see you in the next episode where we go take care of the guy in the garage bye